If you watched my last video, you know that I quit my job and flew to Europe for the summer. It's officially my travel vlogger era, and the first stop is Italy. There is wine and gelato and so much beauty, and I'm so ready to live out my Lizzie McGuire movie dreams. We are on our next approach into Rome. We ask you please recheck the security of your seatbelt and remain seated at this time. Cabin service will be discontinued so the flight attendants can prepare the galleys for landing. We're in Rome! Rome was a dream. I got caught up in taking it all in that I actually didn't vlog much. I was processing the fact that I'm in Europe with my boyfriend, exploring, relaxing, and enjoying life, and just remembering how I would dream about this when I was younger. Sometimes I get caught up in yearning for more, and I forget to notice how the younger me would dream about the life that I'm living now. Rome is definitely one of a kind. We spent four days there before hopping on the train and heading to Tuscany. Okay, don't mind how I look because it's hot out and we were just on the train for like two and a half hours. But needed to start this vlog immediately because we just checked into our hotel and this place is gorgeous. I'm obsessed and I need to show you guys. There's the door. We walk in. There's our room. First off, this adorable little writing desk or poster bed. It's so beautiful. One of the best parts. This window opens up into the main store. Let me show you the bathroom, which might be my favorite part. Voila, this gorgeous shower. Look at the sink area, so beautiful. Even the detail of like the stone on the ground. We didn't expect this, so we're pretty mind blown. We're only here for one night though, which is so sad. And because we were only here for one night, this is one of our like splurge places. It's only like 144 or something euros a night, which I think is a steal. But yeah, welcome to this vlog. We just got to Montepulciano, like I mentioned. In a few hours, we have a wine tour booked. I think we're gonna freshen up and chill before that. And I'll see you guys later. Welcome to this vlog. Look at these little stairs. Montepulciano is a hilltop village in Tuscany. It has gorgeous views of all the fields all around. We just grabbed some cash from an ATM. We had nothing. And thankfully we like shared a taxi with a girl who's coming here to study for a month. And she paid for the taxi. So now we have to pay her back, grab some lunch, go to our wine tour. Mark always waiting for me. Thank you to Credit Sesame for sponsoring this video. Credit Sesame is and always has been a great way to monitor your credit score, but there's a really cool new feature that helps you build credit without needing an actual credit card. Credit Sesame has a debit account called Sesame Cash, and this is like any standard debit account. You put money in and you use that money. The cool part is that the Sesame Cash debit account has a credit builder feature. With this feature turned on, which by the way, it's entirely free, no fees or interest. With that turned on, now the transactions that you make on your standard debit account can actually help you build your credit history. There's no credit check required, so you can use it even if you have no prior credit history. You're only using money you already have. I'm gonna link a few videos down below that go more in depth about how this works, but it's such a great way to build and maintain your credit score. One of the bigger factors that drives your credit score is how long you've had your line of credit. So if you aren't already, and if you're over 18, you need to start building credit today. Open up a Sesame Cash account and start building your credit 
like right now. My link is down below. Currently stranded on the side of the road. We're trying to go to the wine tour called Three Taxis. All of them said they can't slash they're busy. We're waiting for the bus, but on the way here, somebody told us that the bus system is unreliable. And it's a 50 minute walk and we need to be there in 20 minutes. Tragic. Back in our hotel room. It was such a fun wine tour. It looked at via Airbnb experience, so I didn't know what to expect, but it was a lot of fun. It is a smaller, like family owned and run winery, so it's not like a huge, I think it was only seven hectares, and I think it's about 20, 25 years old. And the owner's son showed us like a little bit of the vineyards, told us about the process, showed us where they make the wine and the barrels, and we got a wine tasting with some cheese and charcuterie and it was so much fun and I am feeling it just a little bit. Yeah, oh, there was one thing I want to tell you, the freaking taxi drive. Okay, so basically we had almost given up hope of making this wine tour because we called three taxis. Two were a no and one was a yes, but I couldn't understand where he wanted me to meet him. So we wait at the bus stop, the bus time comes and goes, no bus. We decide to start walking towards like more of the in the town situation so we could maybe hail down a taxi or find somebody who's like around to take, give us a ride. And as we're walking, the taxi driver, the third taxi driver just like pulls up. I like couldn't believe it. We pulled up at like 4.54, the tour was at five. We got to the winery, which was a 10 minute drive at like 4.58. We get there two minutes early, even though at 4.54 we had given hope on making this wine tour. John Carlo is a beast. The best part was we get there and we were like going to pay him and he he's like, oh, I'll pick you up. The man has confidence and I like it. So he came and got us and then he brought us back to the hotel room. We're here now. So shout out to John Carlo. Legit felt like it could have been my last few moments on these Tuscan hills with John Carlo behind the wheel, but we made it. I actually have no time to drink this. I 
it's good. We're gonna go get some breakfast. It's like eight right now. We've just been lazing around this morning and took it slowly and now we're gonna go get some breakfast. We're going to the same one we went to yesterday because we didn't get a chance to try some of their like amazing cakes. Um, and what better way to start a day than with cake, obviously. Today we're gonna be here. We have to check out of the hotel at 11. Hopefully they can store our bags. And then later today, we're gonna take the train up to Florence. Alrighty, we're hungry, so let's go to the cafe. TTYL. <laughs> There's like very few people around. It's like I see so many birds. I don't know if you guys can see that, but so many birds all throughout Italy. Even in Rome, this is what it was like. If you watched my last video, you already know. <gasps> wow, swarms of birds. I changed because I got my pants dirty, of course. Um, and it's kind of chilly out, so I wore some long sleeves. We're about to check out of our hotel room. I'm so sad. and her and her mom make all of these cool crochet pieces. I got the pink one. They were so nice. Just me in our casual cafe view. Just relaxing, we just had our cappuccinos. Gonna get some wine now. I had Mark surprise me. He's going back to those like wine bending machine things. Gonna pick up some wine for us. The views are just gorgeous. If you come to Italy, definitely do like the big tourist places. Like the history there is so cool. Like Rome, super touristy but insane history. But also come out to like one of these small towns. Like this is only I think two hours, two and a half hours outside of Rome with a train. It's just beautiful and so much more relaxing. Also, it's so nice and cool here in Rome. It was like 90s, hot, so hot, like sweating as soon as you step outside. Here, it's like so breezy, 60s, 70s. Ah, oh, feels so nice. I think we're just gonna chill here for now, have some wine, and I think I'm gonna journal. I just spent some time sending my parents some photos of all of our travels so far. I get like so tired from walking around all day that I forgot to send them some photos. Mark's back with lines. Hold that thought. Just 
gorgeous. Just casually walking and then there's like beautiful Tuscan views in the distance. Yesterday we discovered that the majority of the restaurants, especially the majority that our lady at, from our hotel recommended to us, they close between 2.30 and 7.30. And we were trying to get lunch at like three yesterday. <laughs> so today we're being smart and going a little bit earlier. I think I'm going to journal for a little bit. We're at the train station. We got here like 40 minutes early just because we didn't want to risk the taxi situation and not making our train. But I wanted to show you guys something. <laughs> Forgot to mention that yesterday on our train from Rome to here, I was switching between the cars, the train, and my luggage got stuck, so I yanked it and then it broke. So yeah, make sure if you're ever taking the trains from the Rome train station, you need to show up to the train station like an hour early or something, kind of like the airport. It was insane. We did not. We showed up like 10 minutes early and we had to run. It was a mess. Anyway, we made it, but learn from us. Any thoughts, Marcus? I don't know if it was the terminal's fault. <laughs> I'm not very careful. <laughs> Shit, let me just yank it. <laughs> 